Uh, so I've just reopened Steam, of course, and now I have six new items in my inventory. So what's what's this? What's buying this DLC actually given me? Two emotes, got hit, and finger guns. So we'll have a look at those. And the assault skin. Okay, fine. I'll have a look at those as well. Yeah, first things first. Let's have a look at the uh, the guns. So we have the the S10, the S20, and the S10E. Presumably for elite. So handgun, rifle. I am not going to assume is the same. So I'm going to drag those out as well. And... Uh, uh, that might be from a mod. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's from a mod. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and... It launches. Cool. All right, then. And let's go, let's go put the new skin on as well. So, that, 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 and that. And that's in that violent green color that it's picked for me. Okay. Uh, slightly less offensive. Okay, so this looks like a slightly heavier version of the, the soldier armor. Like a bit more armor plated. Where does it look like on a girl? Believe it or not, girls play space engineers too. <laughs> I know a few of them. Um, right, and it looks entirely reasonable. Yep. Basically the same, the slightly different skeleton. Good, good. All right, all right, Keen, you've already earned bonus points for not being silly with the uh, female armor. Because uh, if any, that really does annoy me in games that do that. It really does. Right, no, a bikini will not protect you. No, it just won't. Uh, right. Male astronauts and okay. Oh. Bloody well. Right. Yeah, magic powers. Just clear the weather like that. If only I could do that in real life, right? And let's see. Okay, so <clears throat> so we have a pistol, and I'm going to put down some. Let's see, basic light armor blocks, I think. Pistol's got a kick to it. I'm not moving my mouse here, right? It actually kicks up. And the auto pistol kicks up even more. Uh, 
and the elite one also kicks up. But apparently has a scope. Uh, let's see, does this actually... Has this actually done any damage to the book? Yeah, a little bit. But you're not getting through a heavy, you're not getting through a, a light armor block anytime soon with a pistol, which is good, I suppose. Oh, oh, now then, the regular rifle is now a rifle. Um, right, that's me holding my mouse down. I fired one bullet. GG, Keen. I approve. There we go, people. Trigger discipline is a thing. Keen are doing that for us. And the rifle seems to have a heck of a lot more kick to it than the pistol, in terms of, like, damage onto a block. Um, again... It will uh, ride up. But it's riding up by less than the pistol. So that's all good. And then uh, that's just a standard engineer rifle. So I assume you get that without the, uh, the DLC. Uh, this would be the... Uh, high precision one okay so this one rides up more when you're not zoomed in but when you're zoomed in it rides up way less that's a thing all right number six this would be is the uh, rapid fire. Again, riding up pretty pretty well. And this seems to this this rapid fire gun rides up about the same whether you zoomed in or out. Doesn't seem to make any difference. R is now reload. I wonder if that applies to uh, ship weapons as well. Actually have loading. Probably not because I think they're all modded. And the elite rifle. It's three round burst. Or single shot if you want, depending on uh, trigger discipline. You can also see down at the bottom of the screen that the, there's ammo counts for each sort. So your your precision rifle has eight rounds in the clip. Your regular rifle has twenty rounds in the clip. Your elite rifle has 24, and the rapid fire rifle has 50. Um, I'll go and look at their ammo types in an assembler in a minute. Um, let's test the rocket launcher, because it's probably the one that everybody's really interested in. So we have two. We have the regular rocket launcher, and we have the other rocket launcher, which has a scope on it. But as they both have scopes, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that one of these is tracking. 
because otherwise I don't see any reason to have any difference. One shot and a reload. Damage is poor. But AoE. But poor. That's a light armor block. I would have expected that to be very dead by now, firing a, a rocket at it. But it just seems to be just causing defamation and not actually destroying the thing. Which is a shame. Okay. Yeah, I'm underwhelmed by the rockets in terms of their damage output, I have to say. I want to see if this one's tracking. Um, so, the best way I can do that is to paste in a target and make it an enemy. Go for Spid Slayer, because I know that that is vanilla. And it's a helicopter. Yes, Compton, I'm trying out the Pew Pew. I'm going to do a, uh, a, a full on uh, review of this DLC. Um, and then after that, we'll, uh, we'll see what people want to do. Uh, invulnerable and targetable. Yeah, all of the things. Right, so that's now a space pirate helicopter. Okay, rocket with scope on. I'm getting nothing like a beeping sound or a, any kind of indication that it's got a lock. It. That, looks, that looks pretty good in third person. Uh, that's not bad damage against a small grid. So um, it might be fair to say that that's what the rockets are designed for. Because um, the, the AOE did pretty significant right so now i'm going to try and miss and see if the rocket tracks i'm really hoping it does because trying to hit an aircraft with a rocket launcher if it doesn't track is uh, pretty futile oh disappointed Disappointed. So what's supposed to be the difference then between these two rocket launches? Because I'm damned if I know. Other than that, maybe this one's just more accurate. And it actually goes where you're pointing and the other one maybe doesn't. Right, bang centre of the grid. Fire away. Aha! Okay, so that's the difference then. So what we have here is we have a crap rocket launcher. <laughs> and we have a mediocre rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, that's a little disappointing. I have to be honest. That is a little disappointing. They're very good graphically, sound-wise, is, is decent. I turn my audio up a little and game audio up a little bit for everyone. You get it. A better boom. So graphically and sound-wise, 
Um, these weapons are very satisfying. You know, they are they're RPGs, rocket propelled grenade. In reality, they are not what they appear to be. Um, in that this looks like a stinger, um, and it most definitely is not. There is no tracking. Um, it is a rocket, not not a guided missile. Um, which I think it's a bit of a shame. Um, weapon core for um, individuals. Dark Star. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, let's uh, let's build an assembler and let's go and have a look at the uh, requirements for the pew pew. Hey, look! They fixed that. I can now type ass, and they don't complain at me. <laughs> now do the other one. I can. <laughs> oh, minor bug fixes. But welcome ones, welcome ones. You know, as space engineers, we uh, we we love typing cock and ass. That's what we're used to. That's the way we roll. Right, yes, anyway, yes. Stembler. Mm. And. So. MR20 magazine. S10E magazine. S20A magazine, 200 millimeter missile container, right so it looks like they've gotten rid of the NATO ammo other than for the uh, the big boxes, um, I mean I assume that these magazines are all still NATO rounds but of some variety you know 5.56 or what have you, one would assume. But it's now magazine type is dependent on the gun. So that's a little more awkward. Um, honestly, for multiplayer service, particularly, that is a little more awkward. Um, people are going to have to pick the gun that they like and, and make their ammo, whereas, um, say, in Armageddon, uh, we we were just churning out NATO rounds like they were going out of fashion. Um, yeah, that was a thing. So let's see what else do we have to look at. Uh, nothing has any ridiculous requirements uh, other than the missiles, which still for some god unknown reason require platinum and uranium. Um. I've always thought was very silly. I don't know why. What is essentially an RPG, rocket propelled grenade, requires platinum or uranium. Um, you know, real ones don't. <laughs> they require steel <laughs> and some sort of explosive, which in space engineers they use magnesium powder. Okay, fine. Um, you know, because we don't have uh, gunpowder. So they use magnesium, which can be made into an explosive. Uh, but the reason for platinum and uranium still defies me. Um, it really does. No idea why. Always felt that that was a very odd choice, but that's the way it is. So, let's see, what else have we got? We have got... Uh, are these in their own section? Would be useful. Because the other ones were. Uh, Iceland, Sparks of the Future. 
Warfare 1 blocks. There we go. I'm going to drag all these out and we're going to have a look at them. And I'm going to try them in different skins as well because that matters. As these are new passage blocks, I also want to check how they integrate with the current passageway blocks. Because that's a thing. Alright, so we have, first of all, a weapon rack. Which seems to be able to hold ammunition, tools, weapons, obviously, but not things like components. Um, unfortunately, not bottles. Um, yeah. I would personally consider that a bug. A weapon rack for space engineers should absolutely be able to hold oxygen bottles and hydrogen bottles. So apparently we have different variants of this one. Ah, okay, so this is the same as the armory. The armory can hold bottles. So, still consider it a bug, honestly. You've got the weapon weapon rack in here as well. You've got the various bits for that. And this can hold bottles and tools. But again, can't hold random things. And apparently you can also hold NATO ammo containers. Uh, that might be a hint of what's coming up in the future. As in, there might be something like an LMG, um, which uses the uh, the Gatling NATO boxes. So yeah, armory, armory lockers, lockers, weapon rack. So this is a this is an extension of, of this uh, armory armory selection. It's basically fine, apart from the fact that it can't hold bottles. Right then. Uh, cover wall consisting of 10 construction components and 4 steel plates yep that ain't gonna last long looks alright but it ain't gonna last long uh, corner cover wall okay um, why aren't these in a plus group in my opinion they should be they should be they should have a little plus and so I can cycle through them so they don't need as many blocks on my on my task bar. Alright, next up we've got the half window block. No me, I'd probably have screen gun be gone. Um, that one. Inverted version. Corner version. That looks weird, by the way. Um, this is the angle I'm looking at it. So it's clear one, like clear that way. Not sure what you do about that one, Keen, but it looks odd. Inverted corner. That looks fine, to be fair. 
um, back to flat. Then we also have the Embrasia. That's a new word on me. Well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, okay. That's cool. Um, it looks like it should be deployable. Um, it'd be lovely if it was and it was animated. Like a little on off button, like make it like a door. You can like open and close. You can pack it up. Fold it out kind of thing. And obviously the idea behind these is very simple. You, uh, you get this and uh, you get that. And, uh, yeah. Very minor complaint. Yeah. Very, very minor complaint. It needs to be, like, 50% higher up. It's a little short for the engineer. Needs to be uh, just a tiny little bit higher up because you can't. Uh, if I crouch, what happens? Maybe that's why they did it like that. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm crouched, I'm completely underneath it. Uh, Arts. Capless. These little, the little half cover walls are cheap um, these are like only a few components and uh, obviously because of that they break real quick um, and also more blocks for greebles you know more blocks for greebles is always good in my opinion um, so I got no problem with the, the little half cover walls um, they are very fragile but they're also very cheap so they ain't gonna save you from much. Um, but this thing, oh, what's this thing's components? Hang on. See, this thing's got a decent amount of components, including metal grids, which means this is gonna take ages to break. This is like fortifications standard. Yeah, I know what you mean, the Ranger. I know what you mean. Um, Hello vibes. Um, a little bit of sort of 40k Imperial Guard vibe as well. Um, that's like two clips and em emptied into that. Um, and that's nearly dead at two clips. But as you saw with the little half walls, it was just like, you know, a couple of rounds and it broke. Let's see what else, what other blocks have we got? So, we've also got the passages. So, we have that one. That one. We have that one. And we have a halfway one. Alright, first things first. Um, keen artists, well done. These passages look awesome. They look straight out of like many classic sci-fi. Um, I'm reminded of um, Aliens. Alt Roman needs more org vibes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am reminded very much of a you know several sort of old classic sci-fis with these passages so i think you've done a great job artistically with them 
Uh, let's see, we've also got the light, the, the lit passageway. Down at the end. Also look pretty darn good from the outside as well. I'm, at the minute, I'm doing everything in battered armor, just battered gray armor. Um, it's a sort of nice neutral base. Well, we're going to go through and look at the various skins and the effects that they have on them. Um, right, can I? So, yeah, I can put stuff on the outside of these as well, by the looks of things, which is good. The control panel on there. I can indeed control the light. Excellent. Do that. Make it dead bright. And uh, we'll give it a blue tint. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'll turn that back to pure white for now. Uh, uh. That's just three light, yep. Okay, back to pure white light. ABD. Yes, I have noticed that, mate. Um... I'm mixed opinions on that one. Um, from a realism perspective, it's great. Although, you know, even better would be making the bullets and people refilling the max. Although that might be more than people want to go to in, in a game. Mm. From a convenience perspective, um, it's going to be a pain in the neck. <laughs> Can't just churn out NATO rounds. Um... Also, I noticed that the armories uh, will accept the box magazines that go, you know, that feed the Gatling guns, which makes me think that Warfare Update 2 is probably going to have an LMG in it, which would be nice. Uh, the animations and everything seem great. Um, the sound seems good. Uh, damage from the rocket launches is weak source, um, which is a real shame. Um, then they act like RPGs rather than what they look like. Um. Right, and then I wanted, also wanted to check machine gun in the flavor text. Okay, right. Um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to check was how did those passageways integrate with the normal passageways? Well, they're all in the same scroll wheel, so that's a start. So we have the regular passage. This is the one we're all used to. We have passage two. Uh, internally, yeah, 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 this works. Yeah, that links up to that. Okay. That is fine. I'll pop one of these down on the corner here. They look different from the outside. That's uh, not a problem. GG Keen. You didn't fall for that one. I thought you would. Um, Okie dokie. So that's all the blocks that we've got from this. Um, which is, is fine. 
think it's a fairly decent selection of blocks. Let's see what they look like in some in some slightly crazier skins, shall we? Um, nice to know, Kabbalus. Nice to know. Um, he's a good bloke, that Whiplash. Makes... Uh, so, I don't know if you know, but um, I'm a, a scripter. And Whiplash is, is kind of one of the top scripters. And a lot of the time, like... When something new comes out and we're trying to solve a problem or whatever, basically, he'll be the guy that sets the standard um, for how things are done. So, for example, all of my display scripts, when mul when multi-cockpits came out, um, the um, a lot of us were like, okay, how do we solve this? How do we how do we enable our scripts on on cockpits with multiple LCDs? Um, Whiplash was the first one to solve it, and basically everybody went with his his system as a standard. Uh, I will happily check that for you. I'm gonna stick some blocks down on top of these, yeah. So it looks, it looks like, rather than them being short, what they actually are is that these strut bits actually would go up into the next block. Um, you've got this little bevel here. So yeah, rather than them actually being short, they're actually, I think, taller. Um, with a part that naturally goes up into it. And that, that, that begs a different question. In case, what happens if I put passageways on, uh, catwalks on top of there? Nope, they've got the Z Z fighting right on that as well. Excellent. Uh, I would say that yes, the sides are airtight. Um, they certainly look it um, because of the way that you've got these uh, these bulkhead sections. So I'd say yeah, they they. I'd say that they're airtight. Um, oh, maybe not, actually. Hmm. That'd be Captain Franco. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Airtightness is something we're going to have to look at. Um, I am not even certain whether I've got air tightness on in this world. Um, but yeah, that is something we can absolutely look at. No problem. Thank you for pointing it out. Uh, right, so yes, I want to look at some of these in some interesting skins. First we'll go like red neon. Okay. Do the whole grid at once. about that uh, aliens vibe yeah go with that and we'll go with retro future
Uh, okay, that's more mass effect than aliens. Came out more silver. Maybe not retro future, maybe... Clean? Yeah, there we go. Aliens. <laughs> Ripped in some light flickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually my script building world. Um, so, uh, maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't be difficult. But, uh, maybe people don't want to watch me uh, code live on, on, on stream. Besides which, um, I actually don't do much of the coding in Space Engineers for the obvious reasons. Uh, but yeah, definitely aliens. Definitely in a severe aliens vibe now. I painted it like that. PVE warfare aspect to a single player game. Um, hmm. Um, I don't know for certain. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they have added in um, more encounters. I strongly doubt that those encounters will be a serious threat if you're good at space engineers if you want a pve uh, can i ask you are you an xbox player or a pc player uh captain beard uh if you if you're pc i can help you out with getting a very solid right um so you want to look um for uh modular encounter spawner or um, if you want a decent PVE experience in Space Engineers. Um, it's by Meridius slash Lucas. Um, and that will sort you right out. Um, there are many options there to pick from. Um, from what things that are balanced for vanilla. Things that are balanced for um, very, very modded. Um, I don't think that that is ever going to be Keen's focus. Um, I think Keen don't view this as a PvE combat game. They view it as a PvE exploration game, um, which is, is, you know, it's fine. That's that's their, their their take on things. So you know, you'll find your you'll find Rex. You'll find uh, a den of spiders or what have you, but you won't. You won't have drones coming down, coming to hunt you down, at least not outside of scenario. I mean, um, and and there are combat scenarios that Keen have done, so um, I'm not I'm not going to criticise them on that on that regard. Um, and they provide all the tools for individuals to make scenarios um, even to the extent that somebody who has no experience whatsoever with coding um, you can literally make a world go into admin do your builds paste in your blueprints change them to an enemy faction save that world up upload it and bing, you've got your scenario you know you've got that's a combat scenario that somebody can make so that and i think that that is how um keen view people experiencing pve um and that's totally fine <laughs> that is completely reasonable the fact that there's a whole bunch of modders out there automating the process well you know modders be modders <laughs> Alright, let's see what are the skins we're going to look at. Uh, how does this stuff look in, like, Heavy Rust? I wonder. We've got Heavy Rust, we've got Dark Red. Heavy Rust. Uh, yeah. Yeah, all looks like the skins are all good. It's nice. I'm rusted. Oof. Yeah. Okay. That's that's pretty dang good, Keen. 
Uh, let's see. Just regular rust. Still gone a bit orky in here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Horrific disco? <laughs> horrific disco is horrific. Good, good. <laughs> Camouflage is ridiculous. Excellent. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Wood! Wood panelling! Oh yeah, wood panelling. Um, bring that saturation down. Let's go for a nice pine. Okay, uh, welcome to Ikea, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Gee, these look really nice in wood. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's like that's like legit. They they look they look legit in wood. Like obviously somebody's cut out bits of dusty. Uh which one's dusty? Let's do dusty in dark green. Well, that just honestly dusty and dark green just looks like a good camo. A really good camo. <laughs> Black carbon fiber. that super high-tech look you're a traitor and a member of the rebel alliance you are and last but not least frozen in let's do dark blue Also acceptable. Now, there's a question. Lods. Lods with skins. These often get interesting. Uh, what the camo? The cap? Uh, oh, digital camo. I've not done the done the digital one. Uh, whereabouts is that? I'm not a mossy either, for that matter. Being blind. There we go. Digital camo. Be slightly more sensible. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the digital camo myself. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Um, just, just not a huge fan of it. All right, let's see what other ones did I did I not do? Oh, concrete. Yes, yeah, concrete. A bit of concrete. Full on tarmac everywhere. So, um, this I consider a bit of an issue. The skins on the new ones have different 
LOD rates, like level of detail rates, to the skins on the old passage block. Um, which means, as you, you can see that as I'm flying in and out, new ones look fine the old ones have got a problem but it's even more jarring because they've got the new ones right next to them as part of the same thing so yeah i guess that's a bug to be reported i guess i mean it's a minor bug but well it's a minor bug for for me, as a somebody that plays the game, it's a hell of a bug for somebody that makes cinematics in it. Um, you know, like my good friends over at Ball and Chain, you know, um, I'm sure things like that, lot lot bugs wind them up something chronic, um, just like that there. But that's the old passage block, so the new ones are actually correct. The old one's the problem. Okay, and yeah, neon colorable surface would be, the, I think, the only one I haven't done so far. Well, that's pretty horrific, but no great surprise. Right, let's go back to something nice and sensible, shall we? Actually. Nice, flat, normal grey. Okay. What? I'll still need to look out for this. Uh, air tightness was mentioned. Um, and that is a very good call. So. If I go and build. Just with these passage blocks. I'll just use this one. Now, obviously, they're not going to be airtight on the bottom. Um, but they shouldn't be. And welcome to the room of suffocation. Should be no oxygen in here, other than what I brought in with me. Um, I'll be better off doing that in space, actually. Yeah, I will do, actually. Just to clear up that potential. I just need to hit all the wrong buttons there. Don't 
to space. No worries, Captain Franco. Have a good one. And hey, Soulstone, how you doing, mate? You delete my blocks. Ah, it's not deleting it. I'm being an idiot. Right. List, teleport here, play patrol. To do, uh, I'm not building any. Well, I mean, I, I'm building a suffocation cube at the minute, Soulstone. Um, I am reviewing the update and DLC. Oh, okay. Yes. So there's questions about whether or not these were airtight. That's a very good question, so let's find out. Ah. Gonna need to reload the world. Gonna need to reload the world. Okay. Main menu. Right. Ah, I need to put it in survival. Uh, oxygen is enabled. Is that the same thing as air tightness? Unfortunately, they have not separated weather and lightning in this update. Um, in vanilla now, Secundus. They've added, have they added that to vanilla? Let's like this, I think, is a setting. Huh. No, I guess it's just enable oxygen is 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 the thing. And I, I will I will have a look at that second because that's very relevant if they did. Because that's that's I, that's another mod that's being integrated in that case. Um and that's excellent if they have done that. That's a needed feature. It's on the left side. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Right, enable air time. This is there. Right, and it's on. Cool. I'm just blind. I'm terrible at that. Um, I'm quite dyslexic, and the only way it really affects me is picking words out of a list. Like, I can read just fine. Write just fine. Spelling's a bit squippy at times, but... Yes, yes, I know. Right. But yeah, picking words out of a list, man, that's... Uh, this is why I'm, I'm a master of hotkeys for that exact reason. Um, chat, I'm going to ask you to think of more questions for me 
regarding this uh, this DLC and the update. Um, you know, if you've got questions, hit me up. We'll go through it live. All right, so. I'm going to need to uh, enable creative tools. Uh, turn off invulnerable. <laughs> right, good. Buying out that. Interesting. Okay. Um, didn't actually notice that before. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I am literally what I'm doing is I'm testing these uh, these passageway blocks first, um, and then I'll have a look at the other blocks as well. The armory block will be relevant, um, and the uh, the half block obviously won't be. <laughs> yeah. Well, none of these are small grids, so we're all good there. <laughs> and, um... Isn't air tightness for small grids still considered like a... a, a, a officially a this may work? <laughs> but we don't promise it. Let's get an air vent. And an O2 gen. No, wrong place. Yeah. For the love of God, Keen, a search mate, a. Uh, uh, you know, search filter for this. <laughs> when you start using mods, it becomes horrific. Um, even though it's alphabetical, it's still bad. Uh, let's see. Nice. Maybe. Uh, let's see, put some ice in there. Uh, as soon as I can let me find this stuff. I do have a lot of um, a lot of mods in here because I was testing stuff. To be fair, uh, spawn amount uh, all the ice. We have a battery on here, so that should be good. It says it's air tight. And I do not, in fact, appear to be suffocating. Okay, so. Despite the um, the very slight physical gap in these blocks, in like slight places, they are airtight. Um, but there is actually a very slight gap, so that's kind of weird that it's airtight. Let's if I. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, they're airtight, like. Hmm. I might need to try them like another way up as well. well. That shouldn't. No, that won't matter because I've tested it in that direction. No, I think we're good. I think they're airtight. Um, and then the other block. Or well, the blocks to test for airtightness would be. That one. Rack. Right. 
uh, window block and on a window I think you got your inverts wrong, wrong way around, Keen. If I'm honest, but really doesn't matter. I suppose it's all the. Uh, hey, Vex, how you doing? Um, I'm not building anything. I'm uh, I'm doing a review of a um, of the latest uh, DLC and update. How's everyone with you? Test that and see if that's airtight. Yep. We are all good. Alright, chat. Yeah. Anything else you would like me to test about this update? If you can think of anything, let me know. Now I've got a few more people in. I'm going to, like, spawn in a rocket launcher. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm going to drop back into creative mode, I think, and, uh, and show that. It's going to be the easiest way of doing that. Um, the weapons, um, pistols, exactly what you'd expect from a pistol. Rifles are fine. Uh, the rocket launchers are disappointing. Um, they don't do enough damage, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you, it'd be easy to talk you through it, go through that again. I've got a few more people here now, and I, I kind of went through the weapons at the start. Um, you've got a new skin, which is the skin that I'm wearing, which is kind of somewhat armoured, as you can see that. Um, you've got weapons, and you've got the following blocks. Warfare 1 blocks. So you get a weapon rack, uh, low cover walls, um, half walls with windows in them, uh, an embrasure. How does the target block work? Right, so I'm guessing that must be part of the update rather than the DLC. Yeah, must be. Hmm. Well, um, it dies in space. <laughs> I can tell you that much. I think it just died from lack of oxygen. Let's, um, let's go back down to the planet. Uh, dead. regardless from something or you need to give it an ability uh... huh. okay
Okay, yeah, might well be. I will do a, I'll do a fresh vanilla world then. Um, although it's always it's always nice to see whether things do break with mods as well. So, uh, um, yes, these are all the blocks you get with the DLC. Uh, so you get a weapon rack, which is part of the armory chain of blocks. You get these. Uh, these windows, you get a little half cover block, which is just the bottom half of these windows. Uh, you get the embrasure, which is a mobile, not mobile, but cover piece, which is pretty cool. Um, and these new passageways. And we were going through the skins with the passageways, and uh, yeah, you got all kinds of good classic sci-fi stuff going on in there. But you still place to build itself here, yeah, maybe. Um... Right, I'm going to drop back. I'm going to go back into creative. So I can show off the weapons again. I'm really fine with all of the weapons apart from the rocket launchers, um, which I, th I feel are um, a bit weak, to say the least. Yeah, the passageways are cool. Honestly, I was looking at it and I'm like, mm, do I buy this, do I not? And um, it was the passageways that sold me on it. I was like, yep, yeah, I like those. Those are good blocks that I'll, I will use them. Do they have the stairwell? No, no, they don't. No, they don't. Which means you still need to do your stairs differently. So let's try putting down one of these dummies again now I'm in creative. See what happens. Well, isn't that always the way, man? Isn't that always the way? Alright, so... Okay, I guess the dummy needed something that it wasn't getting in survival. Um... I will start up a vanilla survival world and see see what I can do about that. I probably need to build the dummy, I suspect, in survival. So yeah, uh, pistol. Um, the rifles now. You've got like um, the standard rifle, which is actually now a rifle. And, you know, actually done properly. Um, not fully automatic anymore. Um, you've got the... Uh, I guess what is effectively a light sniper rifle or a heavy rifle. That's got less, less rounds in it. Decent rapid fire one. And the elite rifle is no longer going to be used by me because it's blooming three round burst. I hate three round burst. Never liked it in any games or in real life for that matter. All right, so yeah, the rocket launchers, as I was saying. Um, oh, and uh, R, by the way, is now reload. Um, Doesn't do anything if you've got a pull clip. Um, so yeah, these are the rocket launchers. So we have this rocket launcher. And we have that rocket launcher. Uh, as far as I can tell, the only actual difference between them is uh, this one is more accurate. Hmm. 
and the target dummy appears to be immune to rockets. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, those rockets are just going straight through that target dummy. So I was firing at these earlier. There you go. Um, so the rocket launcher seems... It's an RPG, basically. The rocket launcher is an RPG. Um, I guess the most important of questions... Does it do voxel damage? That's a good question. Yes, yes it does. Right, but the most important of questions... I get my old school gaming on. I think I'm going to need to be in third person for this. Hmm, maybe. You might be rocket jumping, it just might not be very much. No. No rocket jumps, it looks like. Uh, disappointed, Keen. You're losing a mark for that one. Um, <laughs> right. So, uh, next thing to check, final thing to check, is a straight-up survival game with the test dummy. Yes. So, uh, yeah, unmodded. Honestly, I can just get them, take the mods out of this game. It's fine. Um, Yeah, right, yeah, lose all the mods. Back to survival. Okay, yes. Load. Yeah, rocket jumping, I mean, was it was an inevitable thing to try. Um Okay, right. So I'm now in survival. Make sure creative mode tools are off. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't need these steel plates. I don't need any of these things. Come here, give me your parts. I want your parts. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or like, um... Like, mod lists. You can do, you can sort of do that with collections in Steam. But it's clunky. Well, let's hope that's enough parts to build one of these things. Right, so build states. Oh, I need some motors, apparently. About half inch some motors from. Nothing. Really? Nothing? Damn it. Uh... Are you just going to let me weld this now?
Oh, right, this one. Ah. Problem solved. Okay, so in survival, these things don't pop up at all. And we have actions on these things. Yeah, 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 it might be right. It might need to be piped. to make dummies. Uh, apparently the rocket launchers require platinum as well. You say so. Uh, Idea why. Okay, so. Components. Consumables. Nope. Not seeing that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grind down all of those parts. It needed components. It's eating steel plate. All by itself. That seems like a problem. Nom, 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 steel plate. Now, if those components are actually going into this thing, we've just found the best armor. Because <laughs> it's just going to be indestructible. Right? Rifle as well. Uh, still eating that steel plate? Yeah. Yep, still eating steel plate. Okay. spawn some ammo for this thing. Definitely not invulnerable. But 
but it may be that that block simply has a capacity, of course. It appears to have stopped eating steel plate. <laughs> okay, so what we've got here is that this that thing has an inventory. So, yes, yes, it does. Target dummy, 181 steel plates. So this thing stores steel plates and draws steel plates to repair itself. Well, I'm assuming they're just stored in the base bit. Now, if I shoot the base, what happens? It breaks. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> right, so, um, yeah. You shoot the base of the thing, um, it just breaks it. Uh, you shoot the dummy. Um, when the dummy dies, it will draw steel plates to repair it. So, what I want to do is put a... Uh, well, let's see. Let's put a light in. To test the next thing. Did I notice this thing's got like a button on here? That's a bug. No highlight on that. Uh, let's see. Set up actions. And we do uh, on. And off. Because I don't know what those actions are. And uh, all the time of day as well. You can actually see the light. Right, so I'm curious what those setup actions actually do for this. Um, let's find out. So, in theory, when I the dummy dies, it should do something. Okay, dummy died. It went off. It respawned. It didn't come on shoot it it goes on okay so the first action slot is um when the dummy is hit it does it does the first action and then when the dummy dies it does the second action so if i kill this dummy the light should go off there we go and then Dummy has been shot. Light is on. Um, well, that's a good question. Let's see what we can put in this inventory, shall we? Oh. 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 Steel plate. By the looks of things. <laughs> so it moves one hit. Yeah, cool. Yeah, shoot dummy, blow up warhead. Seems fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Miss Carzone, how you doing, mate? Uh, yeah, we're we're having a look at the um, the new DLC um, and my my magic ability to control the weather. super special <laughs> wouldn't that be convenient um so yeah we're just having a look at the the new dlc for this um and uh the new update so is there anything else from the update that's worth a look so if i just go to all all blocks and see if i can spot anything that i've not seen before we've got the tar the target dummy is uh, a freebie Everybody's getting that, regardless. 
Um, which is always nice. Does not look like it. So it looks like the... Uh, um, whether people get the weapons or not, I'm, I'm not certain. The... Uh, Yeah, what's the download? The download is most of it seems pretty good. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, keen DLCs tend to be cheap and fairly small in the content, but there's nothing there's nothing terrible about this. The only the only thing that I would criticise it for, in, in seriously, is that the rocket launches are just weak source. Um, it just don't do enough. Um, right, so yeah, let's let's conclude the review. Um, so, chat, is there anybody has anybody got any more questions for me that they want me to address with this? Um, I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'm gonna roll a sig. Give you a couple of minutes to uh, talk about that. Come up with anything else you want to ask about this, or you want to see. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll conclude and do a review, and then we'll move on and do some gaming of some variety. In the meantime, I'm going to get the rocket launcher out. But no, I won't. I'll just be like to creative. Uh, launcher in comparison with turret. Yeah. Alright. Good call. Very good call, actually. I like that. Oh, I didn't change it, did I? Uh, the same sort of missiles, I can tell you that much. Um, there only seems to be one sort of missile, so... Right. Yeah. Right down to the little lake. Put our helicopter down here earlier, which I was shooting at. As you can see. So, we'll do the same. And... The Spid Slayer. Yes, it is a completely vanilla helicopter. actually not bad design to be fair but it is also totally vanilla designed this after uh, playing Armageddon the first time right so uh, let's have a couple of them out, out actually
little wing of helicopters. So, this one I'm going to shoot with a rocket. We go and examine the damage. As you can see, not a lot. That was an RPG hitting a helicopter, right? That thing should be out the sky. By, by anybody's definition, this thing should be out of the sky. Um, I mean, you know, I get it. You know, if it was a tank or something, but this isn't, this is mostly components, light armor. Just seems wrong. Um... Hmm. Yeah, something to mount it on. Sure. Uh, you're presumably going to need power as well. mean unable to place battery why why are you why why are you unable to place battery that's novel uh, okay Maybe a seat as well on it cockpit <laughs> and the cockpit, there we go, right. Okay. Right, so that one I shot with the, uh, uh, okay, yeah, weird, I don't know why, but, so the turret obviously has way better zoom. And that's another centre mass shot. Yeah, if I'm honest, I've got to say that the, um, the block version, despite firing the same ammunition, and the only other question is, is that version going to deal more damage because the, the the other one is more accurate does that one do more damage is that one a bit more comparable gonna say no nope just just nope <laughs> That's that sounds about right to me. Yeah, about half the power of the. Um, it's the same ammo, so yeah. Same ammunition, same cost. Of that ammunition. Um. But nowhere near the umph, which makes no sense considering it's a missile. Okay. Uh, anybody with any other questions or anything that... Yeah, keep using guns, rocket useless. Yup! 
pretty much. Anybody got any more questions or anything else that they want me to look at? That's a no. All right, then. So, in conclusion, um, it's three quid. Yeah, it's worth it because it's three quid. <laughs> I mean, yeah. At this point, with the, the pricing on, on DLCs for Space Engineers, I basically look at it as buy the developers a beer for continuing to support the game. Um, good stuff for free in there. Um, yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> it's not game. It's not game changing. If you really haven't got three quid to spare, then all right, don't bother. But um, at that price, I don't expect a lot. You know, I don't expect an in-depth DLC for three quid. I just don't. Um, they are still in good favour with me for the script updates um that went out to everyone regardless of it being dlc or not passageways are great um and if you if you like your greebles that's a good reason to get it um the guns um, i mean i assume that some of the stuff with the guns will be coming with the update rather than the dlc um Pistols and rifles, fine. Rocket launch is a blooming weak source. They're just not worth using in comparison to a rifle. You'd do more damage to your opponent with the rifle than you ever would with the rocket launcher, no matter whether it's big or small or grid or person or whatever. Angry spider, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, and the pistols, the pistols are fine as well you know um, so yeah pistols and rifles good rocket launchers poop uh, there's barely a difference between the two rocket launchers one of them is supposedly more accurate but if you're talking about a moving target so what uh, they don't track so the, the rocket launchers are RPGs Rather than proper, um, you know, like a like a proper uh, surface-to-air missile launcher or surface-to-surface -surface missile launcher, they, they've got no tracking on there at all, uh, which is a shame, but is basically what I expected. So yeah, in conclusion, uh, uh, worth it for the Greeble blocks. Um, they are good. Uh, you know, the passageways are nice. Uh, the em embrasure is nice. The others are, uh, will find a way into your builds at some point. So, yeah. Overall, I would give this a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, not particularly inspired. Um, they've integrated a few mods essentially engineers defense kit and some of the extended passageways <laughs> um but they've done a reasonable job with it uh, wish the rocket launches were way better than they are but then again the same could be said for vehicle mounted rockets as well They're all a bit weak source so yeah i would give this overall i give this a seven out of ten and uninspiring but reasonably solid and i haven't found any bugs but the rockets don't hit the uh the the dummies but you know who's gonna fire a rocket launcher at a training dummy really right um so that being said i'm now gonna open up so i'm gonna carry on streaming but want some opinions from the regulars 